If you've read Timothy Zahn's Star Wars canon Thrawn novels, you know that Grand Admiral Thrawn is much more of an anti-hero than he is a villain. His interests align with the Empire purely because he feels the Chiss Ascendancy needs reinforcements in their fight against the Grisk invasion. Well, after he disappears into the Unknown Regions with the Pergil and Ezra, and comes back into the galaxy once again and finds that Emperor Palpatine is dead and the Empire is all but destroyed, why would Thrawn now want to align himself with the Empire? What are his ultimate goals? Thrawn is not someone who searches for or cares about power. What makes him want to take on the New Republic instead of aligning with it? Well, today I'm going to answer that with a theory of my own for why Thrawn has returned as heir to the Empire in Ahsoka. In the Ahsoka trailers, Thrawn appears to be amassing forces. We know in The Mandalorian, he has his own Shadow Council, whose members include Brindle Hux, the Imperial overseeing the development of the new First Order Stormtroopers, Gilad Pelion, his second-in-command in the Thrawn trilogy, and Moff Gideon, whose vendetta and attack against the Mandalorians has led him astray from the Shadow Council. We also know he has leaders and magistrates spread across the galaxy like Morgan Elsbeth on Corvus, whom he's used to take control of the galaxy and try to reclaim Imperial space once again. But why is he doing all this? Surely Thrawn is logical enough to when he comes back into known space and realizes Palpatine is dead and the Empire is all but destroyed, that he would align himself with the next strongest government the New Republic? Well, the answer might lie somewhere in the trailer. We see Hera in the second trailer discussing with Mon Mothma, asking her to muster the forces of the New Republic against Thrawn's oncoming Imperial Remnant. We don't get a response from Mon, but it looks like she's all but refusing, causing Hera, Ahsoka, and Sabine to go rogue in search of a way to stop Thrawn. Hera's reason for going rogue could be the same as Thrawn's. Thrawn could have returned to known space, seen the weakness in the New Republic, seen an unwillingness to do what is necessary to achieve victory. At the same time, his exploits on Lothal made him aware of a technology that Palpatine was obsessed with, known as the World Between Worlds. The World Between Worlds was a concept introduced in Star Wars Rebels Season 4. It was a mystical plane within the Force that served as a collection of doors and pathways existing between time and space, linking all moments together in time. We don't know exactly what Morgan, Elsbeth, Balin, Skull, and Shin are using in the trailer, but it looks to be connected possibly to the world between worlds. Thrawn could be attempting to change the past, either to resurrect Palpatine to fight the approaching Grisk threat more effectively, or maybe to defeat Luke Skywalker, keeping the Emperor and Darth Vader in power so that in his time, the Chiss Ascendancy will still live. That theory works if Thrawn is unaware of Darth Sidious' Sith Eternal on Exegol. A second theory emerges if we assume Thrawn does know of Palpatine's continued existence on Exegol. In this theory, Thrawn becomes more of an agent of Palpatine. His actions are in response to trying to restore the Emperor and the Sith in order to have the stronger ally against the Grisks. A third possibility, and the one I think would create the most vengeful version of Thrawn we could see in this series, is that the Chiss Ascendancy is already destroyed. Thrawn's last 10 years in Unknown Space reunited him with the Chiss. They fought valiantly, but ultimately came up short and were defeated at the hands of the Grisks, and the Grisks are currently making their way into Known Space. Thrawn retreats into his second life, the life of a Grand Admiral in the Imperial Navy. Mustering the remaining forces from the Chiss Ascendancy, Thrawn could be looking for a way to go back in time in the World Between Worlds, restore the Chiss Ascendancy, and defeat the Grisks. All three of these theories give Thrawn a bit more just justification for why he would want to ally himself with the Empire. Again, in canon, Thrawn is not evil in the traditional sense. Like most villains, he sees himself as a means to an end. His actions, even if amoral, are for the greater good in his mind. Ultimately, he's just trying to save the people he loves. And if that means making a deal with the devil, so be it. Thrawn is very loyal in canon though, and if the Chiss were wiped out, he could find new purpose in trying to restore the only other life he's ever lived. Either way, I'm looking forward to seeing what Dave Filoni has up his sleeve, and I cannot wait to see how Lars Mikkelsen plays the character of Mithran Naroto in live action. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your theories in the comments below. Like I've mentioned in past videos, I got a lot more Ahsoka theories coming here soon and videos trying to connect past legend stuff into what we could see in Ahsoka, The Mandalorian, and the future New Republic film from Dave Filoni. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.